I painted all the uh, surfaces in the interior with the uh, with color and I'll mask that off after it cures and then uh, sand and paint the rest. I didn't want to get, uh, you know, doing, trying to do the inside and the outside in the same setup. I didn't want to get dry spray on either surface. So I figured this might be better. I don't know if that's correct, but that's what I'm doing. After covering the cab with high build primer and block sanding it a couple of times now, um, I found, um, I'm getting close to the end now, I found a few spots that are still low, uh, like here and here, and I um, could use glazing putty and fill that and ferret and then prime it again, but I want to uh, mix up a small batch of feather fill and just spray it and, uh, and block sand that out. Now, when you buy the feather fill, the instructions, the technical data sheets, they show you mixing a gallon or a quart, uh, a quart with a full tube of hardener. And I'll show you how I mix small batches and you could use it in place of uh, spot putty. It's a lot easier actually. Here's what I'm using, the feather fill G2, a primer surfacer. And uh, normally it takes a full tube to a quart of this. And I just want to mix, uh, I've got my 1.7 tip gun here. I want to mix up about two ounces for uh, the spot on the roof and a couple other places. And I'll show you how I can mix that. This feather fill is a high solids primer. Uh, so you got to make sure you mix this stuff up really good. I had it on the shaker uh, for quite a while. And uh, it's not a bad idea to use a stir stick as well. I, I just use this... Uh, previously so it's it's mixed up here's a something I use to dispense small amounts is just an old uh, kitchen measuring spoon this one was aluminum so I bent up the handle and I could dip out I'm gonna mix up two ounces just so you know uh, a tablespoon is one ounce of liquid measure so uh, you know this is this is a not full spoon so um, I was just a hair shy. And that's all I want to mix up. Two ounces. Now the feather fill directions call for one full tube to a quart of the paint. Um, and I didn't find the information anywhere. So what I did, I took an empty uh, tube from previous mix and I have a cheap little gram scale here and uh, weighed the empty tube. I got 4.3 grams for the empty tube, and then a full tube with the cap off. This one doesn't have the hole punched in it yet. Um, ended up being 25.9 grams. Subtract the 4.3 grams from the 25.9. I got 21.6 grams, and you divide that by the 32 ounces in a quart that this, this would normally mix up. It would be 0.675 grams. And my gram scale only goes down to a tenth of a gram, so let's say 0.7 grams of weight per ounce of paint. Now, I also uh, had used the gram scale in a cup and measured how many drops uh, to get 0.7 grams, and I got 14 drops for point. Yeah, for 0.7 grams. And you could use the same idea. For any kind of paint, I'm just doing it with the feather fill, but you know, for 2K uh, urethane or, or whatever, uh, you could figure out what, uh, you know, what you need for hardener or reducer um, per ounce of paint and then mix up any small batch you like. So I'm gonna use my little gram scale here and um, zero it out, you know, get the tear weight, and I'm gonna put, uh, 1.4 grams because I'm mixing up uh, two ounces. Okay, that's uh, that actually was uh, 28 drops, just like I figured 1.4 uh, grams.
I use these little sticks from the craft store for mixing small batches. I want to get that mixed up really good. It's a polyester resin in here, and the uh, hardener is just MEK peroxide, like you would use for fiberglass work. You know, you only have a 35 minute pot life on uh, this stuff, so don't let it harden in your gun, whatever you do. Now I'm using, the gun I'm using is the uh, Spectrum of HVLP 1.7 fluid tip. And I've got uh, the Devilbus D-Cups um, disposable cup system. And this is their little, they, they sell these little disposable cups that hold three ounces. And uh, I've got a screen, filter screen in here. Um, and that's what I'm going to spray with. And there we go, all ready to spray. Well, the cab's all painted. It came out pretty good. Nice and shiny. This is single stage paint, so what you see is what you get. Um, I do have a run right there. A little run, but uh, I could sand that out. And uh, yeah, it's going to be nice. In my last video, I sprayed the doors with this Harbor Freight Spectrum HVLP gun. It has a 1.7 fluid tip. Uh, that was way too big, as uh, a lot of you pointed out in the comments. Uh, I did get runs and sags and uh, had to sand, sand my work off and start over again. And I did it with the same gun and I you know, made some adjustments. It's still not perfect, but it uh, was a lot better. Well, since that, I um, purchased the Harbor Freight Spectrum HTE gun, which is a high transfer efficiency gun. It has a 1.3 fluid tip, and it's much more suited to um, top coats. Uh, the 1.7 HVLP is good for primers, um, but I'm very, I like the Spectrum line. Uh, seems well made, and... Uh, Precision machine, easy to clean up, um, and I and I feel like I got good results. Okay, now all I've got to do is get the cab on there without scratching it up. I made a uh, little fixture that goes to the seat brackets, and I've got uh, some like guy wires with uh, tie down straps to keep it from twisting. So we'll see how this works. Well, the cab is all bolted in place and uh, pretty happy with it. I am going to wait on hanging the doors um, until I color sand them and uh, touch up anything on the cab I need to do. Also, I want to—I figure I'm going to have the doors off while I'm working on the inside rigging it, uh, doing the electrical, air conditioning, wiper motor, and all that stuff. Um, so I'll do that a little later. I need a break from sanding. <laughs> um, Anyhow, I also have to build a mega squirt ECU for this. I'm building my own fuel injection setup here. Uh, I took a Wien tunnel ram and added injector bosses, and I've got a 11, 1100 CFM uh, throttle body. And uh, so I'm making my own fuel injection setup. Anyhow, this will give me a, a break from body work. I appreciate everybody coming by and visiting me in the shop, and I will see you next time.